Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have, I think this is September's Inku unboxing video. Yep, September. You guys know that these boxes have been getting progressively better and better with each month, so let's get right into it. Um, all right, I'm putting this aside just so I can make sure I say the right things, but I mostly just go based on gut reaction anyways. So we have a little notebook, yeah. Basically, it's, I wouldn't call it a notebook, but what do you call it? Like notepad. Yeah, let's say that notepad because you can rip the pages out. And there's two designs. You have this first design, and then you've got this grid design. So yes, best friends forever. That's really cute. And then I think it's stamps. Yep. These look almost like friction stamps, but I think they're just regular stamps. And they look like the line characters. I think they might be. So if you guys don't know, there's this, um, I guess, social media chatting program uh, called Line. It's The whole theme is very popular in Japan, and I use it often. Actually, I use it mostly with Violet, but I use it with a lot of my ex-blogging friends. And um, there's a certain set of characters that you always see, like Line Bear is probably the main one. These almost look like Line characters, but I don't know if it's the same company, Mindwave. Um, we'll test this out at the end of the video. If we have any pens, we'll test it with that as well. Oh, two sets of stickers. <laughs> Travel, I wish. I wonder if there's a specific planner this goes with. I'm not super sure, just because you can kind of see there's a horizontal, like, timekeeper here, and that usually means that it goes with a particular planner, potentially, of that size. But either way, so this is more for travel, which unfortunately I can't use yet, but the second we're allowed to travel, Pretty sure it's going to be to Japan, just because that was the last trip I had to cancel, so um, I'm going to save it for that. And then these are all the Japanese foods, which is not necessarily pertain to travel, so I can actually use all these now. But I really love how they have the Japanese words underneath each of them, so I guess if you're learning, it's really helpful. I just kind of like having things a little bit bilingual, because I am in the process of learning Japanese. But that's so cool. And next we have some washi tape. I'm going to open this up quickly. So hopefully you can see it. I'm not sure how clear it is, but it's beautiful floral design. It looks like we've got a folder. And it's got the same punch holes as any uh, A5 ring bound planner. I'm assuming I haven't tested it out, but I mean, I guess it's cool. I would probably use something like this to hold notes that I wouldn't normally have in my planner. Say if I've got too many or it's like... I've got stuff from the previous year that I don't want to put in my current planner, but I don't want to throw it away either, then this might be a good place to store it. And we actually have some inserts. I'm just looking at the type of inserts. It's basically like a horizontal weekly. This reminds me so much of the Mark Ink planners. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Oh, it's like a legit planner set. Okay, cool. Not sure I'm going to use it in this particular one. I might actually use these sheets in my own planner. I prefer the more thicker planners with lots of pockets in them. And then last item is PVC cover. Oh, okay. I'm assuming this is the cover for this. Well, it just kind of builds up on you without even realizing. Mm, you know what? I'm going to set this up. I'm going to put this in here just to see what it looks like. So basically, this is what it looks like with the cover on it. It's kind of nice. I don't really know if it's something I would personally like to use. I can't work out, you know, like sometimes when new things come in subscription boxes and you're like, I know I'm totally going to use it, like these ones, totally going to use, definitely know I'm going to love it. But this one, I'm not really sure. I have no idea yet. But then these are the inserts that go into them, so I guess if you're trying to build a planner from scratch, this might be a good option. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything. Let's go test out these stamps. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, there are four different designs. I'm just going to go through each of them. I don't know, you notice that, like, this, I kind of screwed up these two, and this one looks much better. You kind of have to put, like, firm pressure on it to get the entire thing to come through, and, yeah. But not too much, because now I've got the edge coming out. And last one. Perfect. Okay. First and last were great. These ones not so great, but that's basically... 
those stamps. Yeah. So that is pretty much everything in Inku September box. Uh, I would you know what? I think August was better than this, personally. That's just a personal preference because I tend to enjoy like more stationary items. The planner, probably not really for me. Like I like the inserts, I'm gonna keep that, but I don't know, something I'm not really a fan of having all the sequence, but I do like the fact that it is quite functional, so I'm still not sure on the planner. I'm probably not gonna use it as a planner, it's more to store excess refills but um yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i'm always really curious to know your opinion on the boxes as well so thank you so much for watching this is selena reporting from my room back to internet mm -hmm.